I have two projects that I made. So I have a class coming up using the um, Love You Always Suite, some of the products from that. And uh, I have two projects that I'm gonna make showing you how um, to use this leftover paper. So this is the flowers, and this is on page 10 in the new mini catalog, and let's find page 10 right here, this beautiful suite. So um, the class uses the foil papers, the specialty designer series papers, the designer series paper, the true love, the ribbon, and this stamp set, love and um, forever and always. And then of course I had to use the bling and the boxes. So I'll show you the class. But when I do a class like that, sometimes I will take a piece of paper like this. And I love these flowers. They're just so pretty. They're so easy to color in any with anything that you color them with. And they are, um, but what happens is I end up cutting out this one and this one. And look at this one over here and this one here. They kind of get left behind. They're just, they're not whole flowers. They're just portions of it. And it just seems like such a waste to throw those away. So today I'm gonna show you how to use those. Okay, so the first one that we're gonna make is a card. And this card is my old standby style. It's a fun fold, but it's um, something that when I get stuck and I can't make a card work, this is what I could fall back on. So um, that's what we're gonna do. So this is cut and all the measurements are on my blog so you don't have to try to run them down. So but this was cut at four and a quarter by 11 and then I cut off three and a half inches which is this piece here. I cut this off, that was there and I scored it at five and a half. So that gives me a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card and a leftover piece here that we're gonna use for the front, okay? So the first thing is, I'm gonna take this and put this on the inside. This is four and a quarter by, I mean, five and a quarter by four and it's just a whisper white and it's gonna go on the inside of the card here. But that will help us to see where we're going with putting this card together. I should be using liquid glue today. Let's grab that, grab the back. Okay, so that's my start. So then I am going to take this DSP, which I love this stripe for some reason. It's just one of my favorites. So you will have some left over if you are doing the card class with me. And I'm just gonna center it right on the flap. That little two, two and a half inch flap, whatever it is. Okay, then I've got these three layers and I'm gonna put them together. Because remember, this is the piece that was left over after I cut out the, the, cut the card base. So I'm gonna start with my foil. This foil, <laughs> this is the True Love foil. And oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. It, I don't know if you guys can really get the effect of it here, but it is just gorgeous. I love it. And in the package, you get two sheets of three colors. So there's Rococo Rose, Blushing Bride, which is what this one is, and then there's a Sahara Sand, and it is gorgeous. Um, and like I said, you get two sheets of each one, and they are so pretty. So I'm just gonna attach this to that piece that I cut off, which was three and a half by four and a quarter. And then I have to decide, I think I'll stay with the dots, or I'll go with the dots. And so this is going to go right on top of that. Okay. And then we can just set that aside for now. Now for my flowers, oh, I didn't show you the card. How about that? How about if I show you the card? This is the card I'm making. Isn't that gorgeous? I think it's so pretty when it's all done and put together. It's just, it's plain on the inside. You could stamp something on the inside. You could put a greeting there. If you decide to do that, make sure you do that before you attach it to your card base so that you can flip it over and use the other side if it's not quite clear or if it's crooked. 
So those are usually the problems that we have. So anyway, this is the card that we are going to, that I am making, only though I'm doing it differently. Okay, so I've chosen a different DSP, and that's on there crooked. Oh, let's see if I can straighten it, since it's on the foil paper sometimes. Aha, uh -huh. I can lift it and straighten it. There we go. That's a little better. And I'm not sure how, that, that glue is going to take a little bit longer to set on that foil paper. Okay, so this was one of the flowers along the edge of the DSP. So it was one of these. Um, not sure which one it was, but it was just one that I cut from the edge. And you can see there's a straight edge here and a straight edge down here. So if I put it on the edge of something, you can see that's those are the two places where it cut. Now on this one, I was able to cut in because the flower, most of the flower was there. So what I did to color this was I used our new blending brush and Blushing Bride. My Blushing Bride is new, so he hasn't had a lot of um, exposure, so it's hard to open. And I hid my flower. <laughs> okay, and so I'm just going to just take my blending brush and I'm just going to go right in the center of this, very lightly. I don't want a whole lot of ink. And just, that's it. And then I'm going to use my my green one, and I'm using pear pizzazz for the leaf, for the leaves, there's two of them. And I'm just going to do the same thing on the leaves, and I'm just going to, I want it darker on the outside edge, so as I come towards the flowers, I'm not going to get as much, so I'm just going to hit it, go right on there. Okay, easy, really simple. And it gives it just a hint of flower of color. Okay. So then that is going to go right along the edge of this. And here I can use my glue. And I just want to place that so that straight edge meets up with the edge of that. Then it looks like it's intentional. It looks like it was cut off to fit there. Okay. And then this die is in the bundle the forever and always bundle and on these there's a die that cuts the love which is this one here and the love comes out in two pieces your l is separate from your ove and then there's a die that cuts the background which is this one um goes that way okay so it has love and always both are that way so Where's my silicone mat here? And because they are such narrow um, images, they are, I'm going to use my Tombow dots because the dots, you know, stick where they are supposed to. You could also use a fine tip glue. Um, Or I'm sure you could use a multi-purpose glue. But I just prefer the dots because I don't end up with glue um, all over me. And I'm good at that when it's this small. Okay, so just a little bit there. Too much caffeine today, I think. Okay, <laughs> I have the shakes. All right, and so then I'm going to attach this right here with dimensionals. And that was one thing I forgot to get out. I need some fresh ones. I am all out of the dimensionals. Let me grab those really quick. Okay, so... I looked last night and I said, oh yes, I have to get some more of those out and forgot to do it. So for this, I just need a couple dimensionals. We'll, let's go one there, 
and one over here. And you know what, I'm gonna grab a small one. The mini dimensionals are great for these things because they are small and they'll go in those little spots and you don't have to cut things, cut the other ones in half. So I'm just gonna grab that and put one right up here just to make sure it's secure. Okay, so then I'm just gonna put my word right there. And then this will get attached to the card front, just like that, to that flap. So you wanna make sure that you only put it on your adhesive on that one side and not too far over, but you want it good and secure. And you're gonna center it on here like that. Okay, and then I came along with my dots, and I put three of those little dots, the matte, the matte black dots, and just put three of them up here, just to finish it off. And that is it. So that one and that one, and those are just scraps that are left over. These are the scraps left over. See the straight side here? So that's left over. It was right, it was on the edge of the paper. I mean, you can always turn it over and use the other side for something. But if you're cutting, up, cutting it up like I am, then it's not, um, not as easy to do that. So, I mean, I could turn this over and I could use cut this much out. So that would be a good size piece. Um, I could cut this size out. So, I mean, this one's not bad. But by the time I'm done with this, I'll probably have cut this out and this one out and that one out and that one out and this one because I'll use them somewhere on a card because they are so beautiful and easy to use. Um, they're not hard to cut out. They cut out really easily. So that will give you a way to use up those edge, those scraps that are on the edge. Okay, then I want to show you something else. And let's put this stuff away so I have room. So this card kit has um, 10 cards? No, it has eight cards and three boxes. So it's really a, an amazing kit that's coming out. So I'm gonna show you how to make the boxes. Put those away, we won't need those. We'll hang on to those. Okay, so this is the box in here. And once again, I have a flower that I cut out with that straight edge along the paper. So, um, and this is the box that I made already. Is that adorable? I think it is. And these boxes are super, super simple to put together. I love them for that reason. You don't need any adhesive. I'm going to set that aside for now. And the box comes like this. I already squished it over so I can put it in the bag. And so you're just going to go in here and you're going to burnish all of these fold lines. So that one's going to go that way. This one's going to go up. I don't think it really matters which way they're going up. No, this one's going to go up. Okay, it doesn't really matter. Just score them so that they're easy to work with. Fold them so they're easy to work with. Um, that's going to go up. I know that one. And this one's going to go up. And this one's going to go in. So uh, they're all going to go in except this one. And this one. These two are going to go out. And then these two are going to do the same thing. The first ones are going to go in, and then the last ones are going to go up. This little flap here, that's going to go up. And everything else folds in. Okay, now to put the bottom of the box together, you're going to fold in your two little, the two little flaps here. Okay, those are going to come in. 
and you're, these are going to come up. You can see how it's coming together already. This is going to come over. I'm going to fold this back so it's out of the way. So these are going to come over and go in there. So you kind of have to hold that and do the same thing on this end. So if you just kind of push it, it'll come together just like that. Then this one is going to come down and you see it has a slit in it. That's going to come down and now it's going to hold those sides in. And this is going to come down and this little tab right here is going to go in that little slit. Just like that, your box is put together. Isn't that amazing? I love it. It is so easy to do. Okay, then you have in that packet, you have this, um, which is your cover for your box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it with, which paper do I want? Hmm. Okay, so I did this one already. So I'm thinking I'll flip and do this side. Will that mess up my, nope, that'll be fine. Okay, so I'm just gonna put some adhesive and I found that green glue doesn't work really great across here. Um, so go with something a little stronger, even if it's tear and tape. And just, I, and I started, there's a uh, fold line here where the two come to, where the two, the base comes together. That's where I'm starting. And this is cut at four inches by nine and a half. And then I'm just gonna put some across here, across here, across here. So when I fold this over, let me make sure I'm going straight. And then I'm gonna put it here and on my paper. And this is nine and a half is really plenty enough. It folds over well into the um, into the bottom of the box. So the bottom of my box is right here, the fold. And it folds up onto the back of the box. I'm sorry, not the bottom. It goes onto the back. So if you don't want it to show, hmm, I guess you could cut it off right there. I'm not going to chance that. I wanted it. I wanted it to cover. So, and I wanted to start it at that score line because I mean that line because it would give me make it easier for me to get it straight. And there's my box. Okay. So one of the other things that I when I went to do this, I didn't want. I wanted to use Rococo rose for my flower. So I don't have a Rococo rose ribbon that I felt was the right color for the flower. I mean, the right, um, we have the the one with the um, crumb cake on it, but I really didn't want that. This is the much more delicate. So I decided I would take some of the um, metallic edge silver ribbon and my Rococo Rose Dark Stampin' Blend and I didn't want you to have to sit through me coloring this whole thing. And I also wanted to show you, look at the color difference. So when I color this, look at how dark that looks. But when it dries, this is how it looks. So keep that in mind. Whenever you <coughs> excuse me, color these, they, um, when they dry, they change colors. So it looks more true to Rococo Rose. So if I, uh, normally I would go hit that with the heat tool um, but I'm not going to because I don't want that noise. <clears throat> so we're just going to let it dry a little bit and we'll work on the front of our box. Okay. So the front of our box, I use the Stitch, Stitch So Sweetly, Stitch So Sweetly dies. And I cut the fourth one from the center. So if you're counting from the center, count out to the fourth one for the black and the fifth one for the white. And so I'm just going to attach these two together. Just like that. And then um, my flower. Where did I lose my flower? We'll use this one. This one has a straight edge here and 
the leaves coming out. Now, I did color this with Rococo Rose Light. So I just started out and colored it. Let's turn that over and colored it. And I wanna color off the edge because if I don't and it um, goes on black, it the white edges may show, any white edge will show. So you wanna make sure that you go all the way off the edge. And I probably should be not be doing this on my mat because then when I go to lay something on my mat, it will have it will have ink on it and it'll be all over everything that I'm doing. So I'm just gonna color it with the light to start with. And then I'm gonna go back and, or I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna take the blunt tip and just scribble. I mean, basically that's what I'm doing. I'm just scribbling around the edges to just give it color. And I'll get a little bit up here Okay, now I'm gonna come back with the light again and I wanna blend those two together. So it is darker in the center than on the edges. All right, and then the center of this flower, I colored with soft suede dark. Let me find my brush tip. And I just went around. And then my leaves are colored with old olive. Whoops, I grabbed the wrong one. How about light? Old olive light. And same on this, you wanna go over the edges so that you don't have white showing. Okay, and then just come back and just give it a little bit. Uh, I think I'll do the other end. I always open the wrong end, it never fails. And just a little bit in the center here. Okay, looks good to me. All right, now I'm going to attach this to my DSP, I mean, to my um, my little Stitch So Sweetly shape. And I'm gonna do it, there's a stitch line there, and so I'm gonna do it just on that line. And it looks like I missed some of my, let's go back and touch that up a little around there. Okay, good. All right, and then I have cut, die cut, the word love. Pop those out of there. I love the new Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. It cuts so much better than the Big Shot did. Especially on things like this. I have some, the um, ornate dies. <clears throat> and I always had trouble with the ornate dies. I had to pick all of it out. It took forever when I cut those things. And I like them, they're beautiful. But they were a nightmare because it didn't always all come out. And I know that with the new Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine, I don't have that problem. So, um, and if it's in there, like, well, that fell out before I even got to it. And that's usually what happens. Or they're just hung up a little bit and they just pop right out. I have had no problems with that little guy. Um, so I'm very happy with it. Okay, so this one, I'm just going to attach right there. And I'm gonna do it with dimensionals also just because it looks like it should be. So, one little baby one. Right there. <laughs> okay, let's go back and see how our ribbon's doing. Well, when you color it, make sure you color it all at the same time because I have a little blob there where the two colors came together. So, um, I'm not gonna worry about it. It'll never show when I tie my bow. So to tie my bow, I want it to go up towards the top here. And I'm just gonna bring it through. And just 
give it a try. And there we go. I'm going to shrink it down a little and pull it tight again. Now the great thing about this is I can adjust the bow and move it up. So I'm going to move that up and I'm going to trim my tails. <clears throat> Just like that. Okay, then I'm gonna add this label to my box and I'm gonna use dimensionals for that one also. And let's put that one over this way just so that I'm not right on that ribbon, but it's getting the support from the center. Okay, and I'm just gonna add this onto my box, it's trying to center it, and keeping in mind that that bow is there. Put the bow over a little bit, there we go. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this, take off these covers on the dimensionals, and just put my greeting right there like that, and there we are, so there's two boxes. Made the same, just using different DSP. And you know what fits in here really great? Let me show you. Look at that. <laughs> Strawberries and cream, the Lindors. And they match, they match. Look at the bag color, it matches. I love it. And so four of these will fit beautifully in here. Well, the bag color isn't quite matching, but it's close. And the four of them fit very nicely in here. And that's enough for a wonderful little treat for someone. So isn't that adorable? I think it's so cute. And I love that the strawberries and cream match. Okay, so now let me show you, oh, let me show you another idea I came up with. So those little pieces that are left over I took this one and I, I think it looks like the leaves are just bursting to come out of this package, the flowers are. Um, so I took it and colored it and glued it to the back. Now when I shut it, when I close it, I will have to tape over it. But And I thought it would be really cute to put a couple of them along there. So you could come along and even put that one right there could go over it or, um, but you could take some of these that are on that straight edge, this one, that would be really pretty popping out of there, this one here. So I, I just happened to have one, a piece left over, and I thought, that's a great idea, I love it. It looks like the, the flower is just coming right out of the envelope. It can hardly wait to get out there to greet you. So um, <laughs> I, um, that's another idea. Let me show you what I'm doing in my class. Um, so the class that's coming up that is available for registration right now, um, you will make two of each of these cards. So let me just put that one there. This one, I don't know, can you guys see these? Let's cover up that. Um, and then this one. So you'll, this is exactly what you will make. Two of each of these. Now this could be an anniversary card, a wedding card. This one could be an anniversary card or a wedding card. Um, they don't have to be Valentine's. They are, you know, just, they're just beautiful cards. And then you'll also be making, I got my boxes mixed up, this little box this one and this one so that's what's included in the class that i'm getting ready for right now um let me move this down a little so you guys can see everything i'm not sure you can really see it all so um that's and the registration is now available it i will put the link on the facebook page so you can go in and register and there are four ways to register for it. So you can do it including the bundle or just including the stamp set. You can do it with just the kit. The kit has everything you need to make all of this, plus there's stuff left over. There's enough left over to make these two little boxes and two, 
two boxes and two cards that we did today. Um, and you will get five boxes in your kit, okay? So, um, and then there is also the PDF that's for sale. So, um, be sure to get registered. I'm gonna close registration on that. I'm planning on Thursday right now because I'm afraid I will run into the same problem that I ran into with the hydrangea class of not being able to get the products. So um, I will be closing that on the, the 21st, Thursday the 21st at noon. So get registered before then because I wanna get those products. And with Valentine's Day coming really quick, um, I can see them selling out really quick. So the hydrangea class has been postponed, so it will go out the end of March. Um, so if you're wondering what's going on with that, it'll be the end of March before we can get the products. And <clears throat> so as soon as I get them, I will ship out because I will be ready to go. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, guys, if you like something you saw here, give me, a, give me a happy face, a sad face, whatever you want. Give me some faces. I don't care what kind of faces they are. Give me hearts. Give me thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. Um, just interact with me because that helps me on my readings on Facebook to help me move up. And that will help me to get more customers. And I appreciate that. Thank you for those hearts. Um, and thank you guys. So I am um, thinking that is it for today. Unless you guys, there's something else that we need to talk about. I don't think there is. It's celebration. So make sure that you um, get all the celebration products that you want. Um, keep in mind also that if you're a demonstrator, you can order the Hey Chick and Hey Chick bundle. And um, those are available to you and to our customers. They will be out next month. And I'm so excited. If you ordered Hey Chick a couple of years, I got it free actually. It was a celebration item. And if you ordered it a couple of years ago, then you can now order the dies that will cut it out. And so um, don't miss out on the chance to do that because if you have that stamp set, you're gonna want the dies. And then there's Hey Birthday Chick that coordinates with it. That's a really cute set. So um, be sure to check me out at stampwithdeb.com. If you place a $50 order with me using my host code, I will um, send you a, a, a gift in the mail. So um, thank you for joining me today and I will see you all later.